Hi, I'm interviewing Dr. Rob Maldonado. This is Debbie Maldonado behind the scenes. So we wanted to talk about the Jungian Spiritual Psychology Academy that we created. And I wanted to ask you some questions about the coaching model and about Jungian coaching. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a deep uh, question, which is <laughs> my favorite. So uh, from very early on when I read uh, Carl Jung, I had a vision of bringing this psychology to the world, wow. making it available to everyone, but not in the typical kind of uh, clinical setting of, you know, there's something wrong with you, or you're depressed, or you're anxious, and, and let's work on this. I wanted to give people the, the knowledge that's available in, in Jungian depth psychology so that they could use it in their everyday lives. Yeah, um, well, your first, the first part of the, your question, uh, definitely if you think about how we live in the modern world, there are no more opportunities for people to be initiated into the mysteries of life, mm. into the beauty and depth of the psyche, dreams, uh, the... Creativity. Yeah, the source of creativity, the source of life itself. There's very little mystery. Every, everyone now lives on the surface and on screens and, and you know, just kind of... Materialistic almost, that everything is out there. Yes. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with those things, but we, we're missing the other half of life, which is that initiation into the psyche. Mm. Uh, you know, if you look at what was going on a hundred years ago with uh, Jung and Freud, they were really discovering all these things about the mind and the psyche, and a hundred years of experience is available to us, but we're not using any of that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, most of the systems that we see out there, they're using pop psychology, if yeah. at all. Uh, sometimes not even that. They're, they're simply going on, uh, you know, a few key ideas or, or terminologies or maybe, maybe a technique that they found that people enjoy and, and helps people. But that's not really what I'm talking about. Uh, the main difference is that we don't see the individual as broken in any way. So when you were a therapist, you were in the therapy, doing yeah, therapy that, on people? that was the entry point, basically, mm -hmm. that there was something going on with you that was not working for you. There mm -hmm. was something that went amiss, mm -hmm. uh, either a trauma, a psychological breakdown, something went wrong that needed fixing. And the coaching model, the way we apply it, it goes into that same depth of understanding your psyche and your history and, and your, your current life situation, but without the idea of brokenness. Yeah, the idea really comes from Eastern philosophy. Uh, if you consider that the true self, the way it's defined in Eastern philosophy, is that it is the core of our being, mm -hmm. who we already are. That self cannot be damaged in any way. So we start from that premise, we're on the right track already. Instead of circling around to try to fix some external aspect of our lives or some part of our memory or ego, we start with the, with the ultimate premise that we are the true self already and that there's nothing wrong with us. Now, having said that, it doesn't mean we don't pay attention to our past mm -hmm. and to difficult emotions that arise in our psyche. Uh, on the contrary, we use those things to, to really see that there is nothing wrong with us. But we don't focus on them exclusively and we don't consider the individual to be damaged goods by any, by any stretch of the imagination. We start with that radical premise that everyone is whole already. Yeah, he's certainly considered 
the goal of his therapy and his psychology to be that wholeness. Mm. The individual to reach a, a state of wholeness where they, they weren't divided against themselves. Mm. In the in the the hundred years since since Jung uh, was developing these ideas, we've learned a lot more about Eastern philosophy, and we know more about uh, the mind through neuroscience as well. And, and so now it makes more sense that there is really nothing wrong with us. the The assumption that there's something wrong with us is really what keeps people stuck most of the time. It's a, it's a very different perspective and a very different way of approaching what most people would call problems or traumas or uh, difficult situations. Uh, for us, those things are really the initiation into that deeper realm of the psyche. If you think in stages or uh, if you think of the ego, and the personality as the initial stage of our life. We develop that personality and the ego, um, and it, it's, it's really our purpose in the beginning to develop a strong ego and a strong mm. sense of ourselves as personality. Yes, and it gets us through that initial stage from <laughs> birth to early adulthood. Mm -hmm. Later on though, we, we become disillusioned with that personality because mm -hmm. it doesn't go deep enough it's mm -hmm. again it, it's really a reaction to your external social environment it doesn't really touch upon the the real questions of life so Jung uh, saw that around midlife so midlife really begins maybe around 30 35 mm -hmm people started to individuate, mm -hmm. meaning they started to ask questions about what is the real meaning of my life? That process now is, is what we are talking about, becoming who you really meant to be, not just your initial reaction and adaptation to life. Mm -hmm. What happens is uh, it's, a, it's a transformation of the whole psyche of the individual. It rearranges itself to where you're no longer focused on the external and you're no longer just believing that you're the uniform that you've been playing or the, the role that you've been playing in life. You, you get a deeper sense of your life and you become rooted in life and your psyche in a deeper way. So yeah, if you think about the, that initial reaction to life and building up the persona, the ego, it is very much a conditioned response, mm -hmm. meaning that we're shaped by the forces that are external to us. Through individuation, through becoming or, or coming in touch with your deeper self, you, you start to gain freedom as to who you really are and who you want to be. Instead of being conditioned by the external forces, you start to make real choices in your life. I think everyone has the potential, mm. but there are people that are ready for the work. And you do have to be ready for this kind of work. Certainly that, uh, that phase of life where we start to ask the question, is that all there is? Mm. Uh, what is the true meaning of my life? What am I meant to be doing here? You know, is there a higher purpose for me? And it's not necessarily that you're going to find very concrete answers to those questions, but the search itself is that initiation into what Jung called the symbolic life. Mm. You start to, to understand your life in a deeper way. And everyone reaches that point at some point in their life. In a sense, we're always asking those questions. We're always looking for meaning as human beings. But uh, the process that we take people through in our coaching model expedites the, the individuation process. It, it guides you to, 
to really search in a meaningful way to where you're able to do it in a year or two mm. and make those big transformations in your life that might otherwise take decades mm. or maybe never come if you don't do the work. I think uh, it's very practical in this sense. We all experience triggers in our lives mm. and we all have to deal with emotion. So that's really the number one approach to the work that we, we teach our clients is how do I deal with difficult situations in my life? People that trigger me, uh, emotions that are difficult to, to manage, how do I work with those things? The, the second one is dreams. Mm. Very few of us are connected to a dream world anymore. Getting back in touch with the dream world is one of the greatest benefits you can do for your self-actualizing because it puts you in touch directly with the unconscious. Not the unconscious as a lot of people understand it as is a kind of programming that goes into our life, but the creative aspect of the unconscious. It's a living, vital force in the psyche that wants to participate in our lives. And dreams is one of the ways it participates. It gives us messages directly from the unconscious. And the third one is visualization. Mm -hmm. But it's more than, let's say, positive affirmations or, or thinking, uh, you know, visualizing what you want to create and those mm -hmm. things, although it includes that. We, we see it as the the ability to talk back to that creative aspect mm. to that deeper self in us and so we we develop a two-way communication between the creative unconscious which is giving us mes messages through dreams and our conscious mind which is able to talk back to that creative mind through visualization through meditation through um, what we call metaconsciousness work it's very individualized, so it prepares people for their lives. Hmm. Whatever they're up to and whatever uh, inspiration comes out through, through the process, it prepares them for that. And it gives them uh, the, the emotional, psychological energy to pursue the, those dreams and visions. Hmm. Uh, everyone has a unique purpose in this life. And people are often surprised what the process leads them to. Often they are, they are things that they've forgotten. Maybe they started off dreaming of doing these things and they kind of dropped them along the way and now they resurface all these years, but in a more mature and in a more practical way. Uh, and often it just comes out of the blue that they're meant to be doing something completely different than what they've been doing or they thought they should be doing. Well, I mean, there's a couple of, uh, of answers to that. One is we don't want to keep the process to ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, this is meant to be shared with the world. And you and I cannot do this work alone. Mm -hmm. We need to train others so that we can reach as many people as we can. Uh, that's one of the great uh, side benefits that uh, we do get to influence the personal development field mm -hmm. in a positive way, hopefully, and introduce new concepts, mm -hmm. uh, raise the bar, like you said. So thank you, Rob, for answering these questions. They were very insightful and informational, and I hope everyone uh, is inspired to explore Jungian coaching.